don't really like the term superfoods. I think it's got a bit of hype connotations. It's a bit of a marketing term. And really what we're talking about when we're talking about superfoods is herbal medicine. We're talking about plant medicine. And we're really blessed now is that we can draw from all different traditions from all over the world. We can draw from Ayurvedic, Indian herbalism. We can draw from Chinese medical herbalism. We use a lot of South American herbs. We use the European herbs. And we can really cherry pick and we can really get the best of what all these cultures have to offer and really create something new and really, really exciting. So to me, the definition of what a superfood is, is, you know, sometimes you'll hear that broccoli is a superfood or blueberries is a superfood. To me, I wouldn't class those as a superfood. Something that's a superfood has an extraordinary nutritional profile. So most of the superfoods are complete foods. They contain all the nutrients the body needs, or if they're not complete foods, they're nearly complete foods. So they have a high profile of amino acids, minerals, vitamins, enzymes, fatty acids, all this stuff. But as well as that, they're working on an emotional level. So something we're gonna keep coming back to during the week is the fact that health and healing is an emotional journey as much as a physical journey. And the two things have to go hand in hand and you can't achieve sustainable health if you haven't cleared your emotional habits as well as your physical habits, your emotional patterns as well as your physical patterns. So what we really need to grow at the moment is this integrative paradigm where you're looking at both things together. And I think that's why superfoods are so powerful because they are, they are healing on an emotional level as well as a physical level. So for instance, maca, maca is one of the more popular ones. I use maca myself a lot. Um, maca is the plant that grows at the highest altitudes. There's no other plant in the world that can grow at such high altitudes. So when we take maca, it gives us that energy of stamina. It gives us that energy of endurance. If you feel like you've got to climb a mountain, maca is giving you that energy to climb a mountain. Bee pollen, on the other hand, bee pollen is produced by the bees and the bees have to, I forget the exact number, but the bees have to visit thousands of flowers just to connect a tiny bit of bee pollen. So when you take bee pollen, it's giving you that energy of buzzing around. If you've got loads of errands to do and you've got to write an email and make a phone call and collect the kids from school and do that bit of shopping and do that bit of housework and all that stuff, uh, bee pollen gives you that energy to keep buzzing around like a, a buzzy bee. So they're working on an emotional level as well as a physical level.